Alright, I am in. So, it is wipe day today, and I am playing solo this wipe. I've actually been playing quite a lot of solo recently, because I really do enjoy it. And I just love how much I can interact with you guys as well, so I've been enjoying it a bunch. So yeah, hopefully I can actually get a nice wipe going here. I did check the map already. I actually got a very bad spawn, because I do want to build somewhere up here. There's an ice lake here at K6 as well, but I am kind of far away, so I don't think I'm going to be the first one there. But I did think about building on the ice lake, and if it's taken... I might just build somewhere up here. It's like a really good spot up here, like water treatment, gas station, and sewer all right beside each other. So yeah, the plan is to get a base on somewhere up there. I'm gonna get some wood though, get a bow going. That guy got a bow already. Oh yeah, I do need stone for arrows though. Okay, action has stuff. I was gonna check if there were a green card here, but there's a lot of people here. Oh! Yeah, okay. How do they both have yokas already? What? They probably got it from like gas station or something. Just gotta get another quick bow going and then I gotta run up here. There's actually crates on the road here too, and there's a lot of cloth. There we go. Someone farming here. A bit more stone, I'll take it. There's a guy farming stone notes over there with a pickaxe. Well, this guy's not hitting anything. Actually, I'm gonna check the ice lake, but I mean, it is taken for sure. I see like four guys. Okay, they have revis already. Wow. Well, that's next to water treatment. They probably live in ice lake, I could imagine. There's one base down there, of course. And there's a base on my left as well. Wow, I can build like very close. I could just put like up here, there's notes over there too, like right beside sewer. That's a very nice spot. I'm getting followed. I am gonna place down a cabin here. I'm gonna just depot everything here that's not farm, so I can actually get this base down. Right beside sewer, there's a base down there though, but there's like a lot of notes around. I got trees as well. Yeah, I'm gonna build it here. we go. I'm gonna move the loot over then. Hopefully I can. Like there's so many notes up here as well. Stone notes. With my base now secure, I needed to get down a tier 1 workbench. I also had to get more wooden stone so I could expand my base even more. Okay, actually that quite a lot. Wow. Well, I do need a bit more wood, but then I should actually be able to expand the base quite a bit. Pretty sure I can actually make a tier 1 as well. Not sure if I have ropes, I don't know if I can make a uh, crossbow. But I should be able to make a nail gun, which is just that is like really good. I'm out. I got a way up though. There's like two or three outside. Okay. There we go. Uh, I can make a nail gun as well, I'm pretty sure. No, I can't. I need metal. Right, I'm gonna go recycle a few components of sewer. This area is really good though. Like, there's a lot of nodes, but there's a lot more people than I expected. It does make sense though, like water treatment sewer, gas station is all next to each other, plus it's in the snow and it's in like the grass, so. 
I don't have ropes, I can't make a crossbow, but I can make a nail gun. There's a car? What? Oh no. And of course, of course, there's more. I don't even think those two guys were with the guys that I killed. They just randomly showed up. I am actually gonna spawn on the beach real quick, get a bow, and then just kind of make my way back and hopefully get some loot on the way there. I need to get my hands on like more metal so I can make a nail gun too. This guy just went in the shelter here. I might camp it. Nah, you gotta be kidding me. I pretty much just need, I need more ropes so I can make crossbows, I need more metal for nail guns and like doors as well. And then really just farm, like uh, for the base as well. For now that is all I need to get. What? Bro just placed the worst tower, holy. Okay, shotgun trap, nice, green card. That is not bad at all. I am so far from base though. Nothing really. There's a Chinook crate here at airfield. Doesn't make it easier to run past it. I just saw a horse guy as well. No. I am so dead. What is this? What? They got the crate. <laughs> what am I watching? LR as well. Like, what am I supposed to do? Three horses just running towards me. That is just crazy. I was like, okay, one horse. Like, I could fight that. And then I just see, like... Three or four horses running towards me. Soon kids is really good. I can get rope from those, but I mean, there's gotta be someone here. Yep, of course. There's a guy just sitting on the roof. I need him to leave. It actually seems kind of chill around gas station, so I do want to make an nail gun, crossbow maybe as well, and then go back there. I'm just kind of thinking, like, it, it kind of depends on what's going to happen now, but I might want to get a base down next to gas station, and then, yeah, like, make that my main. Because I hear, like, this guy outside right now, I hear so many people, and I see so many people around this area, because, like, there's a huge group down there as well, H4, and I'm just surrounded by groups, which is very bad as a solo. If I could just get to gas station and loot that for a bit, that would be perfect. That is all I need. Like, I just need to get some stuff back. And, like, components, metal, scrap, all of that is just really good right now. Let's go inside. I got some roof as well. This guy's just waiting for his mates to come back. There's just no way that I'm winning that. I got some gear though, so I'm gonna try to run that back. There's just so many of them. I think there were one or two left. I'm not sure if I killed uh, one of them in the end here. Need to get more metal for nails. Yeah, they're all still there. If I had nails, I would actually fight this again. I only have eight. That base down there is gonna be huge. I see like three of them on roof. Like, that's gonna be really big. Well, I'm gonna try to get some components here and then uh, recycle real quick at water treatment just to get some metal for more nails. Actually though, like I really like this spot here compared to where I live right now. Building somewhere on the right here or like left even would be pretty good. 
Actually, I might just stay here for a bit, try to loot some of the crates around. This area seems so much better than where I currently lived. So my plan here was to build my base somewhere around water treatment. Check and trap, nice. Wow, what a crate. I got a hatchet, so I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna get a base down somewhere next to water treatment here, I think. And close to gas station as well, because I really like this bird here compared to where I live now next to sewer. I do want to have a quick look at the ice lake as well, just to see how big of a base it is. I think the guys in the ice lake is the guys that I fought at the gas station though. The amount of nodes here too, like this is such a good spot. Yeah, okay, that base is pretty big compared to how early it is. The thing is though, I want to be close to gas station as well. I want to live like in the middle of water treatment and gas station. I can actually build here. I had no idea. There's a guy over there though, running towards the ice lake. Yeah, I'm gonna build down there for sure when that guy's gone. I do have a tier 1 in my first base that I built that I do want to move. But for now, I don't have a lot of loot in there, so it's not really worth moving. All I need right now is just more wood, because... I don't think it's gonna be long before they're gonna raid me if I don't expand my base. But for sure, the guys that I fought in the gas station, like, four or five deep, I think, is the guys living on Ice Lake, so that's good to know. I'm gonna depot this, and then I'm gonna get some stone. Like, I already know now, this area is just so much better. Even though this base is very exposed, when I expand it, it is gonna be a very nice uh, spot to live in. Actually, it is getting night, so I'm gonna get a dawn here, and then I'm gonna spawn back and grab uh, all of the loot in the other base in the tier 1 workbench. I mean, there's some gear in here, some scrap as well, actually, and uh, some tools that I do need. That, and then the tier 1. Nice, I made it. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade this to stone instantly. Two guys there. They're killing a bear. Nice. He's got a DB. Pretty sure one of them at least had a crossbow, so I'm gonna depot this and then come back here. A DB though, that is actually huge. This is so scarf for now, I just need large boxes. I'm gonna go back, see if I can find this crossbow. He might not have had one, but I don't know, it did look like at least one of them did. So, that was towards gas station, so that is probably the ice lake. Got some more gear that I need. Doesn't seem like he had a crossbow. I can't find it. Well, I got two ice picks now, so I'm gonna get some stone. There's actually a lot of crates down here as well, in the road. I'm gonna get some of those. A large battery, okay. Not bad at all. Another bell. A hazmat and a pickaxe, nice. Like there's a lot more stone that I would love to get, but I'm gonna deeper this first. Maybe do a bit of expanding too. There's a lot of guys in gas station looking towards me too. Oh my god. I gotta make a door quick. The second they get some boom, like they don't even need boom right now because I have wooden doors. But the second they can, they are gonna raid me for sure. I gotta get metal doors down. I need to get some wood for these furnaces. These guys are only gonna be a problem now though because I have a bow and they have like sars. But when I actually start getting guns as well, I think for sure I can uh, take fights against them. There we go. 
A lot of fighting going on right now. I need more stone. Right here. I mean, I have like a decent amount of scrap already. And I'm pretty sure I have the components to actually get it to too. But I'm gonna need the components as well, so I don't want to recycle all of them. I might just make my way to water treatment. And uh, get some more over there. Let's go up there with a the crossbow. You gotta be kidding me, man. That is just so unlucky. I'm gonna go back there. He's right here. He's hiding. Yes. What was that guy doing? He could have just ran. That would have been so much better for him. I actually need to get some large boxes down. Well, I got a good amount of components, but I do want to keep those and then just go water treatment to actually farm some. Wait, crossbow on the ground, what? Oh, that's the guy that I killed. I didn't even come back to loot it. I thought his teammate had all of the loot on him too. I guess he didn't. No crates in here. Now that's G, very nice. Actually, I'm gonna keep those uh, SMG buddies. Not bad, another 180 scrap. I might actually have enough for T2 now. Or at least I'm very close. Let's see. Yup, that's enough. Nice. I need more metal though, so I'm gonna get some wood so I can smelt in the furnaces. There's a guy on a uh, gas station there. Okay, not bad. So many tools. Oh my god. There we go. And he's with him as well? Of course he is. I actually do have Tommy BP, so I could just make one of those. I think what I want to do now when I can actually make guns. I want to go for like one big farm run. So I can actually uh, expand the base a lot more. Right, I'm gonna get some farm going because I need to uh, expand the base. Not sure where to go though. There's people up there as well at water treatment. I'm gonna depot this and then uh, head straight back out. Yeah, me too. I need some more wood though, but then I can honeycomb this side and then I should be able to start on the peaks and then the shooting floor. I can actually expand quite a lot, I do need more stone soon though. There we go, and then I can make the third floor here. I mean, it's looking pretty decent though. I still need to expand the base a lot more. But I'm not too far away from actually being able to get the shooting floor on. Sars and water treatment. I see a dead guy over there. How does that not hit? One guy right there, Arctic suit. What? Like, actually, what? He's behind the bus stop. Oh, 
Okay, man. Like, of course, it's just some fucking grab with a P2. Fully naked as well. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh, that guy died. so close. This fight seemed to be over now, so I decided not to go back. I had enough metal to make myself a SAR, so hopefully I would have better luck with this. One guy up there, don't know if he got a gun though. Oh, I was running straight to the ice lake though. Well, not bad. Nice. He had quite a lot and a full gear set too. There's a guy in there. Okay. He actually had a green card. Nice. Wait, what is that? Like a small base and a large furnace outside? That's the first time I see that base too. Well, I can do the puzzle at sewer now if it's not done already. Need a few though. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna run that back. That guy insta killed himself, so he's probably gonna run straight back here. I'll just depot this and then I'll run back here with the green card. Like right now, I just need everything that I can get really. I need guns, I need components, I need farm, I just need everything. Okay. Holy. That guy was an actual tank. There's so much bullet drop there on the silencer, like I don't think it's worth using. Oh, little bitch, bro. Where are you silenced? Well, I'm gonna try to run back to sewer once again. That guy was named Simon. I actually think that was the guy that I just killed. Yes, it's not done. Blue card, nice. Right, I got the blue card, so that means I can do the puzzle at water treatment now. I gotta organize, but I'm gonna depot this and then go straight to water treatment. Who's this guy? Oh, Simon. Oh no, that's him. That's the guy that I killed at sewer and like at those wrecks over there. This guy for sure wants to raid me. I'm gonna bait on offline though, so like no one's gonna be able to offline me, but they're gonna think that I'm offline. I don't hope that this guy's just gonna spend hours though and just double camping me. That would suck. Another rifle buddy. Springs are very good as well. And the red card. I'm gonna run that straight back. It is very nice to have the blue card as well, because I can just do this, what, another three times? It's time though to do some expanding, get some wood, because this guy was scouting me, which means he is planning something. I got a decent amount of stone already, so I kinda just need a bit of wood. Okay. From the hill, what a surprise. Oh, yep, 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 yep. You got it. <laughs> this guy, dude. Ain't no way. What am I watching? He didn't even loot me. Well, I should be able to do a bit of expanding with this. Furnaces are smelting as well, because I do need metal for like, I need windows here and front doors. I actually thought these guys would have expanded like a bunch by now. Two guys down at that base. Three guys. I'm gonna flank a bit here. See if I can kill this Saar guy. Holy.
They're living here. No, <laughs> what? Ain't no way he hit those shots. That guy was so loaded as well. Like, he had so much on him. I'm gonna get a few of these notes in my area here. Thing is, I am like... 90% sure that these guys on the ice leg are gonna raid me. They know I live there and my base is so exposed. So the second they see something new outside of my base, like a compound, large furnace, whatever, or just when I expand the base like a tiny bit, they're gonna see it. Plus, I mean, they probably have to boom already, to be honest. They are pretty deep. So if I can just do everything I can to get everything ready, finish up the base, get doors on, Gotta like set some stuff, hopefully get a tier 3 down so I can make some AKs as well. I could be more than ready for when they come. Should be able to expand a good amount with this stone. Oh shit, there's an air balloon. Where's it landing? It landed right up there. There we go. Should be like everything outside. There's a guy behind the large furnace over there. Oh, two guys. Three guys. Never mind. But oh, they're raiding it. Wreck it as well. Okay. The fact that they have Wrecker Stone and they're raiding that means I could be next easily. I might actually check it out, like, even though they can come back, like, instantly after I kill them. They're inside right now. I see three, no, four guys, though, total. There's three guys at the base. Yeah, one guy right there. And one guy on the mountain there. I don't know if he's with or against them. This is the MP5 guy, though, that missed, like, so many bullets on me when I was naked. I don't want to shoot him here, though. Oh god, this went in the base. There's no point of me killing that guy, because I won't be able to loot him here. On my left, they're pushing me as well. They are all just gonna be fucking swarming me. Yeah, he's gonna shoot. Okay, well, if he's just gonna tap me, like, he's not gonna kill me. Oh, he's gonna die now. No. And this is how I am gonna get raided 100%. Get in. They're right outside. Two fucking rockets and a launcher and an AK. Let's go, man. Alright, I got a few more doors on. But I do need more gears and I also need more metal. I just need to, like, secure this base as much as I can. I'm gonna put the AK set in here. I spent about five minutes organizing, so I kind of have a view over what I need now. I'm doing pretty good on components. I can almost make a tier 3, actually. But what I need is farm. Like, I am completely out. I have some sulfur and some metal, but I need more of that, and I need more stone. And I also somehow need to get some low-grade going. This might actually be all of the stone that I need to finish the base. I don't think I'm gonna need more than this. That should be the entire shooting floor. Then I need to make roofs up here. Base is gonna be looking nice though, man. I would love to get uh, like a turret down as well, but I don't have the BP and I don't have a turret. Now I'll do this here. Window, window. Then I could do something here as well. Then I can put like a bed up here and I can also use this as a heli garage. Okay, well, everything I now need is just doors and windows. I might bring the blue card actually to water treatment. Go inside here, I think. 
Don't know if he's alone, if he just left the recycler maybe. Did a crossbow. Oh my god. Oh shit. Actually kind of stacked, wow. Alright, I'm gonna run that back. Heavy helmet, okay. I gotta do this card and just go. These guys keep on coming back. And someone took out the fuse. That was not good on health. Now there's sounds here. Nah, what can I do? Well, I killed one. I'm gonna go back there. Actually, fuck it. I'm gonna bring the AK. Not sure if that was him, though. Nah, I did all of it. Wow. I gotta come back for the rest, and I gotta do the puzzle again. I'm gonna deeper this side again. Okay, please let me actually do the puzzle this time. Oh, I think he just looted some of the gear and the buddies. Okay, I mean you're dead, but you looted so much. That was him. Find a Hilda again. There's so many. I think they might live in here as well. I mean, I should be fine. I didn't see them behind me, so I don't hope they're gonna run like all the way down here. There were like two or three more though. But yeah, that's kind of sucked that I didn't get to loot like the two other guys that I killed. If I had mets there though, like I could have stayed for sure. But with no mets, I was against like two or three more. Well, once again, I did not get to do the card. I'm gonna try again now, I'm gonna depot, and then uh, go back. Guy on the left here. Ah, of course. Well, that is the Ice Lake. This is the one name I see a lot as well. For the fun, I'm actually gonna make a DB, and then uh, go set up their base. Okay, they got a compound. I mean, I can easily camp this and like kill one or two, but I think getting away here is gonna be the hard part. Oh my god. Bruh, did he just not see me? Hopefully he's gonna grab loot or something from his teammate and just come straight back alone. Go, go, go! This horse is so slow! <laughs> uh, no! One more! Yeah, I knew it. Ah, oh, I saw it. Maybe he didn't, like he would have taken it. I am 100% dead here, but if they don't find the Tommy though, I am completely fine with that. Where's the guy with the gun at though?
no. That was the last guy. That was so close. Oh, it's still here. Nice. I only needed a very small amount of scrap for the tier 3 workbench. So I made my way back to water treatment with the blue card so I could do the puzzle for some more components. I'm gonna get this card back and then I'm gonna go back here with a few components and recycle. Not bad, not bad. Making a bunch of windows and garage doors and I also should be able to make the tier 3. It's perfectly as well. Nice. Shooting floor is done. Nice. All of my furnaces are cooking right now. So I think what I might do is head towards small oil rig. I got all of the cards, so I might as well. I'm gonna close all of my doors though, because I have no idea if these guys are gonna raid me while I'm gone. The crate is gone now, so I guess I'll take a boat there and just wait for it to uh, spawn again. There's a base over there too. What is that island? Wow. That looks so nice. They're online as well. Those large friends is going. Okay, I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, it's up. Nice. That was kind of fast. A turret. Nice. That is just what I needed, so that was actually huge. Give me something good here. Grenade launcher, nice. Another grenade launcher? I mean, it is not bad at all, but I need a cheese. And an M9, okay. If I could just get like another AK, L9, a bolt would be very nice as well. Let's see it, please. Oh my, what? No. Holy shit, that is so good. Well, now I just gotta make it back, but L9, LMG, two other guns, I think, one other gun, maybe. That is just insane, man. And like a 16x on the L9 as well. I am pretty down by the low bit though, so I might have to go to fishing here. Might as well recycle here too. There we go, should be enough. Nice, man. That was a very good run. Well, I got a turret now, so I might as well place it down. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna need a lot of wood so I can keep these furnaces going. And I do want to get a compound down as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a pickaxe and then I'm gonna run towards outpost. And then I'll just farm stone on the way there and then trade it in for wood. Should give me more than enough wood and I feel like I am always out. There's like no trees here. Okay. Oh my god. I am getting shot at. I'm gonna depot this. He was stacked, so like that was just bad timing. That he was right outside of my base. Wait. How did he get up here? I mean, he didn't get boosted or anything, so like... He's probably cheating, to be honest. I'm gonna just uh, report this guy, though. I don't wanna die to him. Yeah, his profile is so weird. Let's put him outside again. He's up here again. Like what? Oh, are you okay? Well, that sucks. Alright, so the admin of the server just told me to go to gas station and stay out of sight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's banned. Well, I don't know if they're both in here, but one of them is. This guy's saying that I'm wall hacking as well. He's right here. Well, since they're banned, I'm gonna head over to Outpost now, farm some stone on the way there. If I can just get like a shit ton of wood, then I can cook in the furnaces and I can get a compound down. And then all I gotta do is make a few sets. Uh, 
And then I should be able to just bait an offline and actually get some sleep. Should be able to get a good amount of wood with this. Uh, 60k wood. That should give me a pretty good amount of metal. Okay, I should be able to place down the compound. I guess I'll just do like the gate here because I don't want to make it too big. If I make it small like this, I don't actually have to place TCs all around. Plus, I don't need it to be very big anyways. Another gate here. Perfect. Nice. I'm actually going to make another two AKs and then just depot them as sets uh, at my bedrooms. So I had pretty much done everything I had in mind for today. I finished up the base by placing some more doors and windows and I also upgraded some of the base to metal. Today had been a really good wipe day, so I was ready to bait an offline raid and get on the next morning. Okay, I just woke up and it does not seem like I got raided. I've heard a lot of gunshots though and I even heard someone farm outside of my base, so I already know who that is. Yesterday was really good overall though, like, I got a tier 3, the base is finished, I got a few guns as well, so like, not a bad day at all. Hopefully today is gonna be even better, and I have a feeling these guys are gonna raid me today. He's behind the truck. Oh, he died as well. That guy's on the zip line. He's on the very top. So that's the ice lake for sure. What I actually could do here is L9 this guy on the zip line. Wait, he killed him. Man. That guy might be dead. Alright, well, was it worth it? No, probably not. <laughs> oh, wait. What? I mean, I'll take it. I didn't expect there to be anything left on the bodies. 68 high call, or 65. I actually can with the same cone. Don't know if this guy's with those guys down there. He might be. He had a custom on a saw though, nice. I want to get my hands on a heli. So I'm going to bring some scrap and a few components. And then I want to go to outpost and buy one. And then what I want to do is I want to fly back and then uh, grab some more components and some stone as well. So I can trade that in for wood because I need a lot of wood for these furnaces. Those guys got a heli on their roof. I don't have ladders though, so I can't get it. He's on the roof. Okay, wow. Good thing is, I don't need any scrap, like, at all now. So, I can just use all of the extra scrap that I get on just buying, like, metal and low grade and stuff. What the... Yeah. Nice. Ellie is out. Where the... Well, I am gonna attempt to actually take it down. Even though I got so many groups around me. Like, I might as well try. And if I can just get it down right beside my base. That's perfect. Why is it flying so fast? Is it coming? It might be. Yes. There's an air balloon, hello? No, oh no. It's down with them. I think they were hitting it as well, though. Oh, that's so bad. There's no way I'm getting that. Yeah, it's like down the hill even, I think. Like a bit. Ah, another one. Yeah. 
Goes to crates. Down here. Yeah, there's another two coming from the base. Like, <laughs> there's just no way. I'm gonna try to head back to water treatment, see if there's anyone here. Because I do just want to get some more components. Right on there. Yep, not alone. Might be dead here, he is. Maybe his teammate here had a saw as well then. He did, nice. Where did he go though? Maybe in here? I can't find this guy's body. I'm gonna bring these two saws back though, that is the most important here. I'm gonna head back there, cause I have a feeling they might go back. Okay, not bad. A good amount of components, I'll take that, some scrap as well. I'm gonna deeper this and then I do wanna make my way towards sewer. Where did he come from? Maybe this base here? Oh my god. So fucking much. I need everything I can get really. 300 scrap. Another saw is really good. Oh many. Dude I should not be with gaming right now. They're gonna raid me so bad. I gotta start. There's so many of them. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. They're already up again though, like, <laughs> they're so deep. Oh, they're gonna shut it though. That guy's dead there still. Okay, dude, from like everywhere. I mean, I can probably kill a bunch of these guys. Thing is, I just, I can't loot it. My buddy is still there. All of the buddies are still there. Yes, he died. Like I had like all of my shit, I think. The only reason I'm on roof right now is just because like these guys are so deep. They're right up on the hill. On the bodies, and like there's too many of them. Alright, I need to go outside and actually get the bodies. Like okay, I died. Okay. This is a huge fight now. Alright, I'm gonna drop this L9 and then get in gas station. There's just so many people there, man. Like, it's so hard to get away with something. Oh, the AKs are here now, too. Seems like they just all pushed up. Hard to survive there. Maybe that guy found my line, but then again, I would have heard it shoot. One guy there running away, though. There's like two guys on the roof here. No, dude. It's only like two guys left, though, and there's so much loot over there. Alright, this one is the last time. There's so much loot over there, so... 
I do think it's worth actually risking a few guns for it. I got stealth. Ain't no way he's nading me. Yeah, I'm not surviving this. Nah, there's- nah, okay. There's like five more, I think, like four or five. Well, I mean, there was a fucking fun fight though, holy. Small rig is up right now, but I do actually want to take my heli and uh, head over there. Getting a successful oil rig run was something I really needed after losing quite a lot of guns fighting these guys. So I got straight in my heli and made my way towards Rick. There's someone on- oh, it's a tugboat, I think. Are they leaving now? Yeah, crate is gone. No way. That is such bad timing. Well, I'm gonna take the heli to fishing and then I'll wait for the next one to spawn. Oh, what's up? Let's go. I did not bring the cars that I had, but people should be countering pretty fast, I hope. Oh shit. Tuckboat, no. Well, that is probably the same guys that went here when I got here the first time. There's no point in me killing them here, cause I kill one and they're just gonna go back out so you can respawn. There we go. Yeah, there we go. He's gonna have to try to kill me. Well, I got that guns at least. There's always one guy in the driver's seat. Like, that's what these groups do. They leave one guy in there. So if those guys do die, that guy can just bring them further away. They can respawn and come back. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, though. I feel like uh, leaving would be the best idea. There's one guy. Wait, what? There's one guy in the driver's seat right now. I guess that as well. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna be smart here. I'm gonna take everything I can. Oh, I wanna get that last gun though. Do I risk it? Maybe I do. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just stay with us. Yeah, they're running up. There, there's three guys on rig right now. One guy in the tugboat. That was a very nice run though. I didn't actually get to call in the heavies, but I mean, I'll take an AK, LMG, two Tommies. Nice. Well, my first oil rig run, and uh, it was actually pretty successful. I don't think they call in the heavy, so I do want to go back to Rick and actually bring the carts this time. I think I'm fine. There we go. If I could get like a grenade launcher here with HEs, that would be very nice. A bolty? Okay. That is not bad at all. Alright. Bolt and a P5, wow. And a face mask too. Wow, going back here definitely paid off. What an inventory. Okay, that is literally right outside. Is it just one maybe? Oh my god. Not sure if he was like moving loot or something. There was so much random loot. Okay, I should be able to upgrade a lot of the base, if not the whole base, to metal. There we go, that's the entire shooting floor. 
Alright, that is all I have for now. Okay. That is pretty much down though at uh, age 4. Oh, I see him and he sees me. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. That is a lot of components, so I'm gonna at least try to run that back. Did they just not loot anything? Wait, this guy had a gun. Two guns. Why? So I think the guy that I just killed took the guns from the guys that I killed. I don't think those AK guys found the bodies of the ones that I killed. Somehow, I don't know how. Okay, I just spotted an AK guy with a white kit. That is die safe for sure. Well, that's my AK. Oh my god, I actually whiffed, but I killed him. There's just no way they're not gonna be caming my base right now. Nice. Holy. I thought they were gonna be caming those UX out there. So at this point, I was almost certain that these guys would have to raid me. It was starting to get really late, so I spent some time making sure that I was ready for a raid defense. And then I began baiting an offline raid once again. For some reason, these guys just never showed up, so I kinda lost motivation to keep on playing. And well, overall, it had been a pretty successful wipe. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.